Lion on the show is inspired by my cat, Lion. Tu mascota es el león. We were living in a cabin, and this cat used to wander around outside the cabin and then just walk right into our house like he didn't care at all. Huh? And we'd just be like, oh, there's a cat in here. <laughs> um, and that's Lion. He's really big um, and just does whatever he wants. <sighs> Eres un tonto. El león es más que una mascota. Anda solo la mayoría del tiempo. I have a picture if you want a picture. This is my cat. This is the real lion. Um, you can't see from this picture, but he's huge. He's a really big cat. Like, I mean, oh my gosh, he's a massive cat. All, all of them, really. I think Amethyst the most. Amethyst really surprised me as we were working on her and her story. We all sort of, we understood who she was when we started the show. We would all write her a certain way. <laughs> oh, cielos! Te engañé por completo! Debiste ver la expresión en tu rostro. Oh, sabía que eras tú. ¿Cómo? And then it just really came into focus as we were making the show. Um, it was really something that we all worked on together. We knew she was covering up something, like we knew she was insecure. ¿Te sientes insegura en tus relaciones y sobre cómo eres vista por los demás? No. ¿Sí? Uh, ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? But what that actually was, was a real uh, sort of group effort and revelation to us as we made it. Aguarda, ¿dónde está Amatista? Hola. Amatista? Te regeneraste. Estoy bien. It's an interesting puzzle. I think with Amethyst, it's sort of like, what do you do when you have a lot of support? You know, you have people that are really there for you, but you just can't see it because there's something deeper going on here. There's something that you're, that you really believe about yourself, even when other people are telling you, like, it's not true. Um, or maybe you're just not even touching it because you don't want to go there. No te pongas psicológico conmigo. Uh, anyway, Amethyst is really interesting to me and she's been, I think the most interesting to work on. And I think uh, Amethyst's relationship with Steven is the closest to my relationship with my actual brother, Steven. Oye, Amatista. Sí. ¿Quieres venir a verme entrenar? No puedo. Estoy haciendo una ensalada de huevo. Oye, vamos, será divertido. The way that she, there are things she's still figuring out and he's always like there to support her is very true. Uh, and it's something that has evolved in real time as I've been working on this show with my brother. So she, she not only is she, I think, really interesting, but she keeps evolving, I think, as, as we all evolve as people, too. Es, uh, es lo que hago. Me molesto conmigo misma y luego apesto en todo lo que hago. Uh, Amatista, tú no apestas. Haces cosas muy geniales. Tienes dos látigos, dos látigos. Y cuando te deslizas, Amatista, tú eres mucho mejor que yo. Oh, Garnet. Garnet is my favorite fusion. She really represents a lot of what, um, I was working with Ian Jones Corda. We were running the show together, um, and we're also uh, a couple. And it was this incredible experience of just constantly doing everything together all the time. Um, and then also trying to make that work. And, and a lot of that became part of, at least to me, Garnet's character. Estamos juntas. She has to sort of keep this team together, but at the same time, she has to keep herself together. That's not easy. And so she has a strength that is a huge part of her character. I mean, her character is all about strength, but it's like a strength in her relationship that is constantly being worked on. Ah, ah, lo siento. Ah! No, 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 Garnet, te estás deshaciendo, Garnet! Garnet! Por favor, ¿qué sucede? Tú no eres así. She represents love and she represents strength and a strength in love that is not uh, 
easy. That's why she is the way that she is. That's why she's strong. I think that this is really exciting to me. I think she's the most fascinating fusion because she just is her own person. That's how powerful um, their, their unity is, so. Apuesto que iríamos más rápido si Ruby y Zafiro estuvieran aquí. Y estarían encantadas de verte, Steven. Pero no me desfusionaré para doblar la ropa. When I'm writing music for the show, I usually talk over with my team like what the song needs to be, what it needs to do, and sometimes when we're coming up with episodes, there's a feeling or a, a point I want to make that we're all starting from, and then it's like, oh, that'll you'll really get more of that out of this character if they sing about it as opposed to just talk about it. ¿De qué estás hablando? Oye, ¿qué acorde es ese? Un do. So once we know what it needs to do, uh, where a character will start when they start singing it, where they're going to end when they finish singing it, we start to figure out like the details, like the melody and the lyrics. Oh, vaya! Ahora es música! Música? Sí, es música como esto. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. I'll usually sit down and um, just play around for a really long time. ¿Cuál es el punto? Realmente no haces nada. Bueno, si en serio no es nada, porque suena tan genial. A lot of songs have sometimes five or six versions that I just scrap and start over before it like really feels right. Ahora por la satisfacción de escucharlo completo. Seguro. And then some are really easy. Sometimes we'll just do a song that'll just be exactly how I'm feeling at that moment and it'll just come out on the first try. Y luego agregas palabras. Esta es una en la que he estado trabajando. Vida, muerte, amor, nacer y guerra y paz en la tierra fer. And I also work with Jeff Liu and uh, Ben Levin uh, on guitar and, and bass and with my composers, uh, Ivy and Sarashi, um, and they'll help me come up with melodies and harmonies and arrangements, and it's very collaborative. Puedes verlo en nuestros ojos. Somos uno, somos uno, dos, tres, cuatro. No somos como los demás. No somos como nadie más. En el tiempo no puedes regresar o te destruirás. Steven y las gemas de cristal con nosotros sonreirás. I love to listen to Steven episodes dubbed in different languages. The Spanish dub is really good. I really love it. Um, it's always really exciting to see how their different personalities come across in different languages. Because um, they're so specific, their personalities are so specific, and seeing that um, translate is really exciting. <laughs> Steven! Thank you! Garnet! Você é uma fusão! É, lo siento. Não queríamos que nos conocieras deste modo. Bueno, al menos les causé una buena impresión. Ah, Steven, nós já amamos você. I always wonder, I, I always uh, have to ask, like, oh, how accurate is this? Because it seems, it all seems great to me. I'm just like, oh my gosh. I love it when the translation has to do with, like, the, the feeling that the lines had um, and the feeling that the characters had. Um, as opposed to being very literal. I think it's really important that the characters feel like themselves. I think if I could fuse with a gem, I would fuse with Garnet. I think what, whenever anyone fuses with Garnet, they gain her like incredible confidence. So they feel her support. The challenge of fusing with Garnet is how do you maintain yourself when you're with someone who has such a strong sense of self, such a cultivated sense of self. Um, so it's challenging to fuse with Garnet, and that's also, I think that's also exciting to me too. Esperen un momento! ¡Se convertirá en una gema de fusión! ¡Basta! Garnet. Piénsalo bien. Tú y Amatista podrán ser un poco uh, inestables cuando sus personalidades se combinen. Can you handle uh, a partnership with someone who is just is incredible? 
can you like rise to the occasion to uh, <laughs> to combine with someone who uh, who's more together than you? Can you you know can you do that? <laughs> can you do that? Para que la fusión funcione, debe existir un balance. Un desequilibrio puede hacer que la fusión pierda contacto con la realidad. Verán cosas que no están allí y finalmente fallará. Mejor dicho, si alguno de ustedes no está concentrado, la fusión fracasará. Para encontrar el equilibrio, deben entender sus sentimientos. Para entender sus sentimientos, deben verlos con claridad y sin huir de ellos. I would want to fuse with someone who would, who would challenge me to be a better version of myself, I guess. Eres músculo y cerebro, todo en un paquete. Gracias. Ah. Oh, um, it's probably a toss-up between Cookie Cats and Together Breakfast because they were like the early ones, and um, me and Stephen have made me and my brother Stephen have made Together Breakfasts for, for fun. <laughs> Estás fuera de control. Uh, for my birthday once, uh, Christy on the Cooniverse made cookie cats and homemade the, made the ice cream herself. Um, and it was amazing. I was like, these are actually really good. <laughs> good. Uh, people should really make them. Um, it had like this, it was um, our prop designer Angie's idea to have it be um, like a chocolate cookie with vanilla and strawberry inside. And it really works. I really recommend it. Like, it comes out really good. <laughs> Gato galleta, no te pese la balanza. Gato galleta, su familia dejo atrás. Gato galleta. Disponible en la tienda de la ruta 109. <laughs> if you're interested in becoming a writer, or a singer, or an artist, but you're shy, the advice I have would be to do it anyway um just push through if that's what you want it's worth fighting for even if you're fighting yourself <laughs> like do that too i mean you 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 have to push through the nice thing about being an animator uh, or a comic artist is that you can really do it you can do it on your own i spent a lot of time just sort of hold up by myself and it was it's nice it's a very private way to express yourself through comics and through animation um, I mean, I, I've met so many wonderful people uh, now w working on the show, w working in animation, but I think in a way I started doing it because I was so shy. Um, I, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful way to get things out of your system pri privately. It's always scary to put yourself out there um, and make work that really represents you and then see how people feel about it. I'd say, my other piece of advice would be to just make so much stuff that there's no one thing you're worried about because you'll have just so many things. Like you make one comic, you make one piece of animation, um, you do it and then you're done with it and then you make the next one. And if anyone says like, oh, I mean, I've got, I've, I've experienced lots of criticism, like, oh, your inks are terrible or your lettering looks bad. You know, little things where I'd be like, oh, my inks. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if I'd never heard that, I wouldn't have gotten better at inking. And if I'd never, um, had people tell me, like, the story you wrote, I don't really understand what it means. I, I'd be like, well, how do I express this better? Like, how do I, how do I communicate what I mean better? Toma, mírala. Son tú y lápiz tomadas de las manos. ¿Dónde están nuestras narices? Oh, eso es parte de mi estilo artístico. ¿Y no tener dedos también es parte de tu estilo? No, solo soy malo dibujando manos. Oh, esta es tu parte. Ven aquí. My brother Steven told me some advice he got, which was to always hold your work uh, to the side of you. So like if someone's, if someone's criticizing you, it's not like they, you know, are shooting a bullet through your artwork and into your heart, you know? It's just like, this is your work and you, you hold it over here. And then if people say this, this and that, you know, you have it and you observe what people think without having it harm you. I didn't hear that till I was an adult. So, <laughs> but I wish I heard it when I was a kid because I think it's really good advice. I would say make a lot of stuff and never get stuck on something where you're just like, this is gonna be, I wanna do one thing, I wanna do one project, this is gonna be my big thing. Someone should give me this television show so I can make my one idea. No way, make a hundred ideas. That first idea, just make it yourself and make it first. And if it's, if it's really the thing you wanna do forever, just make it over and over and over again, but like, but like don't wait to make it, make it right away. Fue todo.
esto no es así, no es así, eso fue todo, te eligió, lo eres todo, y te amó y se acabó, fue todo, no es así, no puedo olvidar el dolor.